Ah, oh, shit. This feels like a filler episode already. Yo, this is kind of sick. We got more pod racing. We're riot racing. Sorry. Yo, what's up guys, you for today, bringing us a brand new video, and today, we are reacting to Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 4. Yo guys, last freaking episode, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. That was probably the best Star Wars, the Clone Wars style animation uh, episode I've ever seen in like such a long time. It felt like a Clone Wars episode. Commander Cody being being back back in it and going AWOL too. He's he's off doing his own thing. I hope he reunites with Commander Cody to bring peace to the galaxy. That 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 seems to be his main objective here is to just bring peace. But how can you do that if you're killing off the peacekeepers, the Jedi Knights? And Commander Cody is full of regret. And he he feels for Obi-Wan Kenobi and, and wishes he never killed him he, he's presumed dead or missing so hopefully he'll maybe hunt down not hunt down but try to track down obi-wan kenobi but i really want to see commander cody and captain rex one last time together that that duo is just the fifth episode of the star wars clone wars when first came out oh my gosh yo that episode was amazing when they first pulled up onto uh for whatever that whatever that moon planet is with the, the clone cadets but yeah enough of me reminiscing though of the good times of the clone wars we're gonna watch the bad batch okay but I hope, I, I just, I doubt we'll be able to top that episode, because that episode was just, that was a 10 out of 10 episode, 5 out of 5 episode. And the first, you know, two episodes were okay, they're okay, you know, it just felt like the Bad Batch, you know, just like the, the adventurous group taking little to no damage and not much risk is involved. I hope there's some type of realistic ending to their story, whether it's them getting all killed off, <laughs> but... I hope it's realistic and not really a happy ending like the Clone Wars. The Clone Wars was a very, it was a good ending. It was a perfect way to end that story because we knew where, where it was going. But how they wrapped it up was just perfect. And I hope they do something similar with this story, whether it's them getting all killed off by Darth Vader. But anyways, let's hop into this next episode. The next episode title is episode four, Faster. I don't know what that means, but it's another standard 25, 24 minute episode. So let's hop into it. But before we do that, guys, yo, yo, before you hit the subscribe button to this channel, check out the Patreon, guys. We got full reactions up on there. Now we got the all the raw footage of my reactions, uncut, unedited, with watch along style. No, no more timestamps. Strictly, you got the footage on there. You don't got to pull up another screen, another monitor to watch with me. You just watch it. All on the same screen. So check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash reacts. We got full reactions and early access as well to other reaction videos. Now, hit that subscribe button to this channel right now. Do it right now. We are at 2,100 subscribers of me recording this. I want to say thank you to all 2,100 subscribers. You guys are the true Knights of the Republic. All right, enough of the shout outs of me rambling. Let's hop into the next Episode, episode four, three, two, one. Let's watch. I got another job for you. Hunter and Echo are back from the other mission yet. Ah, oh, shit. This feels like a filler episode already. You're going to be my security crew. We will require a more detailed briefing than that. No time. All right. We're doing a side mission. We got Tech, Wrecker, and Omega. <sighs> yeah. Ugh. That's right. I'm not gonna lie, the quality of the show is phenomenal. And it will get better too as time goes on, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that sounds familiar. Wait, pod racing? It's called riot racing. Oh, riot racing. Dang, that's kind of dangerous, yo. Yo, this is kind of sick. We got more pod racing. We're riot racing. Sorry. He's gonna make me a lot of dough. Wow, so this is what we need to go. We gotta be bodyguards for her. She's betting on this race. That's what she's doing with all the money we've been raising for. Greetings, boss lady. That's a different type of droid. Your ringer is a droid. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have a problem with droids, human? He's a conscious. You want a challenge, Teo? 
I do not have enough information about this sport to determine that at this time. Then take a seat, spectacled spectator. Dang. Citroen scale back. Now, oh, who the heck is this guy? Now, lady, I'm busy. Get out of my pit. This guy, another racer? Or is he betting on some other racer? Not going to introduce me to your new crew? They're not going to help you win. Oh, I know I'm going to win. Oh, talking smack to the big boy. Ready, smart yacht. <laughs> You're getting smoked, buddy. I don't know. Oh, he's talking trash. The familiarity between you two suggests this race is personal. Yeah. Seems like a personal grudge they got on each other. They've probably been betting against each other for years. Given the unpredictable nature of this course, I cannot determine who the victor will be. I have a feeling it's going to be the other guy, because he's in the lead right now. A commando droid? NC-3PO. Oh, 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 oh. That's kind of dang. <gasps> Some spectator just got killed. Now right, what's this place? What's wrong with the lift tunnel? It's a death trap. This whole race is a death trap. Yeah, you can get killed on this race. Get shot at. This looks more chaotic than a uh, pod racing. Yeah, I was gonna do it. I doubt it. I doubt it. There's no way. There's some some. This guy's got something. Yeah, he's got knew it. He had something up his sleeve. Nah, nah. Okay, never mind. They got him. Get out of there. Let me guess. We need a new racer now. Yep. Dang. It's over. It's over. Tail got too cocky, but this guy's cheating too. This speeder is in bad shape. Yeah, that's a. You. Want to step in here? I didn't bring you two for the company. Well, why'd you make a bet anyways, dummy? Gosh, you're terrible. One last race. If you win, we pay you double. Okay. We don't know anything about racing. Oh, no. Let me guess. Omega's going to race, and it's going to be like the same thing that happened with episode one with Annie. And I keep Sid as collateral. See, I think Wrecker could take these guys by himself. This speed is in worse shape than I thought. So another thing too is is Omega, is she force sensitive? She's special. I know that. There's just more to her. There's gotta be more to her. You know, instead of repairing him, we should be taking out that gangster. We cannot apply our military tactics to this situation. Malegi is dangerous and connected. Uh, hey, yeah? Did you forget you were working on me? Because it seems like you're just having a conversation. Why should we work on this guy? You're not going to be racing, buddy. You're not going to be racing. Sooner or later, those outcasts you're hanging out with will get to know the real Sid. Uh oh, who is she? He's drinking straight off the bottle. This guy's, this guy's like that. All right, we got tech here. He's got to study it. It is all about strategy and skill of which you have zero this guy talks a lot of smack it's kind of it's ticking me off open your eyes human if you want to win out there offense is the best yes he's gone <laughs> screw you Teo. whatever your name is omega it's time for you to race come on enough of this guy This guy died being full of himself. I will be the racer. What? Oh shoot. Tech's gonna race? Okay, I thought Omega's gonna race. Alright, Tech. I can get behind this. I can get behind this. I mean, realistically, out of them three, he'd be the one that needs to race because he's been studying this track. And finally, Tech. Tech? Anything else on this guy? No, nothing on this guy. He's gonna win it though. The underdog. Boom. Yeah, he's a pilot too for the for their their spaceship, so he needs to be the one doing this. Gotta be in front to win. I know what I'm doing. It's called strategy. No, it's called losing. Yeah, what is the strategy here? Is he gonna take them all out with his blasters? 
They said not to go in the in the brunt or the the closed off lane. Why is that? Why is that? Take it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I need more speed. What is he doing right now? They were slowing me down. Okay. Miss. This guy tech is like that, huh? Yep, it's a shortcut. He can't now with the with the weight with the weight gone. Come on, don't give up, don't give up hope, Sid. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. You're not making that. No, yeah, he ain't making it. All right, he's, he's gaining on him. He's gaining on him. I like it. Swing. You got to swing on him. Swing on him. Swing right. Swing right and pop your boosters. Come on. Oh. Come on, Tech. You got to blow right past him. Boom. Oh! I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Tech, you're the man. You're the man. Tech, this is your future. You're going to become a racer. I want to see it. Tech the racer. A deal's a deal. All right. Oh, he's getting salty. That guy's salty. I feel, like that's gonna be, I feel like that's some good advice. Oh, shoot. Okay, hey. Okay, that was a filler episode for sure. But, did I enjoy it? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. But, it's a filler episode. So, it's a default. I'll give it a 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to be honest. It's a 3 out of 5. Uh, two points I'm deducting, one I'm deducting because it's a filler, and another point is that I'm just not a fan of those characters as much as I am with Echo and Hunter. I mean, I, I, I do like Wrecker, I like Tech, I like Omega, it's just Echo and Hunter do carry a lot of the weight, so besides that, I, I enjoyed the race, I thought it was a cool sequence, it felt, it felt a lot of flashbacks from the pod racing from episode one, I do like how they're kind of developing a a backstory for Sid, you know, we can't trust her. I, I'm kind of curious now uh, what her backstory really is and why Why is it we can't trust her? Is she, gonna be, is she just using us, using the Bad Batch to rack in the dough? Well, she seems, she just seems irresponsible and we're not, she's not the right one to be working for. If she's making all these bets like that and she can't even back them up. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. And I, I think they got to get out of that. They got to get out of that and go right to the rebellion. Screw this uh mercenary work bounty hunter work it's not, it's not even a bounty hunter work it's just i don't know they're doing dumb little missions for money that, that could possibly get them killed and what's she doing she's sitting back and relaxing and gambling Tch, pathetic said you're pathetic comparing this episode to the last one yeah the last one takes the cake it might it might be i'd be i, I won't be surprised if that last episode with commander cody is the best episode of the whole season because that episode was so good. I just don't know how they're going to top that. So something bad will happen. I'm assuming they're kind of leading towards that. I'm thinking something bad is going to happen with Sid. She's going to backstab him. They're going to get out of the situation somehow. And then they'll go to go to the rebellion and be like, okay, enough is enough. We need to find some true meaning here. And that's what Echo was trying to push across in the first two episodes. And in these this episode, I'm assuming that they're kind of thinking in the back of their head, okay, we got to reevaluate what we're doing here and try to do something for the better because the first two missions they did, i mean the first mission they had of the season is to go to count duke and beat the empire to stealing all the money or all the riches that's greedy that's that's some greedy stuff and echo was doing it to potentially fund the rebellion but sid is the one that's getting the money she's she's the one that's getting all that all that wealth all that treasure and what's she gonna do with it 
gamble with it. She's going to gamble with it, probably. Well, guys, post your comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought of this filler episode. Uh, leave a like. Leave a like and comment down below with thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And ring that bell to get notified when I drop the next Bad Batch reaction. And until then, I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.